Okay, hi everybody. Um, this is going to be a real short video on uh, doing uh, screenshots. Nice screenshots from X-Plane. Um, everybody seems to like my screenshots, so I thought I'd give my little secrets away for whatever they're worth and show you how to make nice screenshots. Right now I'm at L-O-W-K, which is uh, Klagenfurt, Austria. Yeah, I just picked it at random. Kind of blase looking but mountains in the distance so uh, I'm in my um, uh, chieftain no my Navajo so we're down here on the runway make this real quick show you how to make uh, nice screenshots there we are in the on the runway there's Klagenport behind me here and uh, we jump inside Turn on my Garmin just for laps. And I'll turn the airplane volume down a little bit so you can hear me better. Oh, it's turned down good enough. And uh, it's very simple. While you're in the game, while you're flying, a lot of this is for beginners, uh, for the new guys that are just new to X plane that aren't aware of the fact that you can change the time and you don't have to go up here and change the time of day here. You don't have to do that. You can change it while you're in the flight by using the shift L or the shift K. Here's shift L to make it later in the day. And here's shift L or shift K to make it earlier in the day. So first thing I'll do, I'll go up here and I'll Turn on my panel lights so that helps. Now this is going to be quite simple to do. We've got our panel lights on. You'll see them when we get up here. So I'll take off. I find a nice area I want to make a screenshot of, right? So we'll take off. And go outside the ship four and look around there's the airport there there's some nothing real interesting over there but uh, what I do is use your period and your comma to move in and out so we'll get a little closer to the plane if you lift it up with, I'm using the hat button to, there's a hat button on top of my joystick to look around. And move it up a little bit. Now now what I do is I play with the shift L and the shift K. to make it a little later in the day. See, now we got the nice, nice view of the city. I can go back over here with my hat button on my joystick. Got some reflections on the lake over here. There's a lake and a river here. And I could say, okay, that's a nice screenshot. 
So now, see I'll raise it up a little bit, maybe move it back a little so you can see that water. I'd even go a little more, you can see a bit of the airport here, see? There's the airport. How about there? Let's say I want to go, okay, I'm going to make... Hey, you just play with it. How about like that? Now, you don't have to hit the print screen key to make a screenshot. What I use is a snipping tool that we all have on our computer, and you just get that by... That's why I didn't go to full screen, so I have my taskbar at the bottom. Click on here. I've got it up at the top already, but all you've got to do in this little space bar, if you don't see it up here, is just type snipping tool down here. I can do it again for you, snipping tool. Tool. And there it is. And you click on it. And you get this. And it'll gray out. You get this little box will pop up. And it's all grayed out. Well, don't worry about that little box. It'll disappear automatically. You just go to the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And you hold down your left mouse button. And you drag. You know, keep holding it down. You drag and drag and drag. See, I don't want those... ACO in the picture so I'll just go to here same thing go back up here so I don't have my see, I don't have my plugins in it and anything I'll just go to there and there's my screenshot and I just go you want to save save this yes I do I say I usually save them to my desktop and then uh, when you save it to the desktop to already exist you want to replace it I don't want to re replace something I already got on my desktop so I'll say no and I'll rename it I'll go uh, K pardon me L O W K which is what it is in here I'll type that in here L O W K oh I got rid of that capture word L O W L O W K losing my mind. Save it as L O W K. Now this picture will be on my desktop and I can just load it up to uh, my wherever I want to send it up to Facebook or wherever. So there you go. And that's kind of a nice picture. I'm glad I saved it. So anyway, that's how you make sc screenshots and I've given my secret away and probably we have a little contest screenshot of the month, so everybody's going to beat me. <laughs> That's okay. I know you guys are going to enjoy this and have fun with it. Have a great time, guys.